researchers believe a computer like this one may someday be driving your car, and they say it will be a better driver than you are. We'll have the details coming up. Tired of driving? Well, in just about 10 years, you may not have to. Do all the work, that is. If research underway right here in the Valley is fruitful, you can someday have a car that is smarter than you are. News 15's Nina Jimenez explains. It's an early 80s model Chevrolet, kind of beat up, not exactly the kind of car everyone's itching to drive. Okay, we should go. But a small group of ASU oh, student right researchers there. believe okay, this is the car of the future because it's a smart car. The camera looks at the lanes on the road and directs the car to stay between the lanes. No hands are needed to steer, no feet to push the pedal. The computer decides should it ap uh, apply the brake or should it add more throttle. Radar cameras and computers essentially put the car on autopilot. When cruise control first came in, consumers were a little nervous about it. You know, okay, uh, how can I let, let go? Now it's a common day-to-day -day type of option. The ultimate goal of this smart car research project is to reduce the number of accidents out here on the road. Because apparently human drivers just aren't smart enough. Reaction time is faster. ADOT believes in the smart car. It gave the student project $100,000 in research funds. It's not geared to, to necessarily help today, but what we're looking at is five, ten years down the road of how can we use some of this new technology that's out there and available to improve highway safety, to improve driver attention. And to alleviate traffic, and ultimately, your commute. But the smart car is going to take hundreds of thousands of dollars more in smart money for funding. And right now, that money isn't yet there. With photographer Rick Krolak, Whenever you're ready, Jeff. Nina Jimenez, News 15. The smart car research group plans to apply for more grants and loans to help perfect their project. Next year, they hope to come up with a more sophisticated prototype. A car manufacturer will also have to step in. And, of course, you, the consumer, would have to want to buy one.